Mm. Well, hi guys, this is Scott V in my Hexit world, and I just uh, zapped myself to the town of Cadburg because I remembered from one of the uh, videos I did, and boy, it is handy sometimes having an instant replay. Um, I remember that one of these guys was selling small capsule stations, and um, at the time, I thought that was some screwy bee-related thing from forestry or whatever, but, um, well, that's not even installed, so that can't be it. Turns out they are an incredibly cool thing from the Better Dungeons mod. And I'm going to do, potentially, a whole series of interesting experiments with capsule stations now. So I bought those guys, um, you know, eight emeralds for a small, uh, capsule station is not bad once you see what it does. Well, hi guys, I'm gonna try this out. This crazy, uh, capsule station ready to go. Apparently, if you put one of these in here, you get an outline. And everything in this outline, once you make a capsule, in theory, when you right click the capsule station, everything within this outline will be taken out of the world and stored in the capsule so you can move it somewhere else. And, oh, that's great. Okay, so there's a little bit of a trick when it's snowy. Your capsule will just disappear. So just out of curiosity, let's see if that works. Poof. Yep, it took everything in that area. Well, I deliberately embedded that in the ground to show you that at, uh, at the area that it takes is um, pretty much the, the uh, capsule station itself is the ground level and it takes everything from the ground level up. Um, so I just want to show that that would make a little bit of a mess. So when you, you go to put it back in the world again, if I put it here, it's uh, if I click on this block with the capsule, which actually now if you look, the capsule it's not an empty capsule, it's a capsule capsule. If I were to click now, it would turn that block into the uh, capsule station and um, pull all those blocks out of thin air. So, if I want to do it one level higher. It really makes it hard to oh. this. I'm going to get whomped with dirt, aren't I? There you go. It makes a scary noise, but it took all the blocks from there and put them over here. And this is a horrible demo to do in the uh, <laughs> in the snow. Um, what's fascinating is it's part of the uh, Better Dungeons mod, and it's not the kind of thing you would expect. Actually, this is part of the Ruins mod, I'm pretty sure. And I have been unfair. Uh, the Better Dungeons mod is not by Atomic Striker. Now, Atomic Striker is is still a master and gave us infernal mobs and uh, ruins and all kinds of other great stuff. But Better Dungeons actually produced all these gigantic castles and fortresses and all the walkers and the pirate ships. Uh, that's by Chocolatin or Chocolatine or whatever his name is uh, pronunciation-wise, who is apparently another whiz at, at this stuff. Wow, the two of them together just work so well, you really can't tell where, where one mod ends and the other begins. The editable capsule station is pretty cool, because you actually get to pick a width. Let's make it a... well, it's probably got to be an odd number. Take a width of 5, take a height of 3, and even a file name. And there's a reason I'm doing this in specific right now. reason I'm doing all this here. Now, there we go. See, I'm liking the editable one, because not only do you get to pick a size, you know what's going to happen. Now, I picked empty space. Oh, darn it, there was snow on the ground. It's a reason I picked empty space. Let me make it daytime here. This is kind of a neat demo, if it goes according to plan. The reason I made that empty space was I was going to run over to one of the areas that had been absolutely destroyed by meteors. I'm going to see if these can be used as a degriefing tool, because the meteors cause some serious grief. Um, for example, here's some meteor grief right there. That used to be a beautiful redwood tree, but an ice meteor, or freezerite meteor, landed at the top, turned to ice, melted, and made a whole hellacious mess out of it. 
So at some point I'm thinking of elevatoring up there and just trying to replace the water blocks up at the top there with uh, something a little less scary. Now let me just run over to one of my uh, areas which has been obliterated, which I could not figure out how to clean up until now. I would have to snow and slow me down. There we go. Oh, look, another area has been obliterated by meteors. This isn't the one I was looking for at all. Okay, you know what? Rain off. I'm just trying to do a demo. Oh, look, more destruction. Yay, that's super lovely. What I'm thinking of now is I have a capsule station full of just emptiness, and I'm um, thinking a quick way to clean this crap up might be uh, to fall through the hole. Yeah, you fall through the hole. That's how you do it. That's a ticket. One way to clean this up might be to hit it with a capsule full of emptiness. Sure enough, meteor's gone. Then I will pick up my emptiness. And I will come over here, and I will hit that block. Clean. Clean as a whistle. My new degriefing tool. Well, that's gonna still be water flowing. I can't help that. Why did it... Oh, it picked up the water. But that's okay. It, that's why I was wondering. It wasn't real water. Interesting. It picks up running water, which then just disappears. So I was curious what it would do with water and lava and some other stuff. Just plug you up for now. Just plug it. So, the, uh... I recommend the editable capsule station. Actually makes a good de degriefing tool. I mean, I'm going to end up with a big hole in the hill, but it's not going to be nearly as ugly as this crap. Um, and again, I like some of the meteor stuff, but it's a little too much. So, my new favorite degreeping tool. Alright, come on. Come on, right there. Kaboom, kaboom. Cleaning up the meteors. Of course, I'm making a bigger hole, but at least it's not full of meteors. The main thing I would use this for is the floating junk. The floating junk. Okay, because I do just cannot tolerate floating nonsense like that. The, you know, the hole full of that, whatever. It's kind of just like a weird quarry from outer space or something, but, uh... And I don't need the blocks. I have enough meteor stuff. But again, as far as degriefing the floating stuff that otherwise would take forever, and I just don't have the resources to do it, here we go. I wonder if I can jump, jump up there. Oh, the dexterity. Let's see if I can reach that one. Right there. Right there? Come on. Right there. Anyway, this looks like it would be handy for degriefing all the floating malarkey. Cool. Alright. And probably also uh, work wonders on some other types of uh, grief where, uh, you know, I'm hoping it doesn't transport lava. That would be a nice thing, because if it transports lava, then he's created a major griefing tool. Okay, hi guys. This here is a much bigger and tougher <coughs> degriefing project. I almost keep saying degreasing. <laughs> I don't know why. This one here is just a monster mess. And I'm almost sure that what happened was that <coughs> a freezerite meteor hit the top of this redwood tree and uh, turned to ice, but in this biome, ice melts, which turned it into water blocks, which created gigantic waterfall from hell. This is going to be tough to get rid of, man. I guess I could just think of it as some weird f natural feature, but it ain't natural, and it really bothers me. Yike, how close am I going to have to get to this? Now, I do have a 2x2. Two I mean, a 5x5x3 five by five by capsule full of nothing. I don't know what happens if I hit water with it. But, you never know till you try. It's too far away. Too far away still. I gotta go up more. But at least I made myself a little platform to avoid super obvious forms of dying. Alright, now I actually really need to drop it underneath that. That's gonna be an interesting problem. I need to hit underneath. I mean, this right here will get rid of a few of the water blocks. This is what you used to have to do to solve a problem like this. 
And now, see if I hit it with this. There. All the water blocks. Out of here. You stupid waterfall. You just shrivel up. You shrivel up, will ya? We have a race to the bottom. Go, go. I think, oh, uh, which one was my actual, uh, darn it. I forgot which one. I think this one was my actual tower. Nope, that one. Good thing I checked. I was going to have a race to the bottom with the water, but I forgot which tower. Which one was my tower? Okay, race. Go, go, catch it. Shovel. Why is it getting dark again? Boy, that was like the shortest day ever. Hey, you. I sure took the steam out of you. Oh, that was really easy. I sort of figured there was only a very small couple of water blocks up there. There really is kind of bizarre water dynamics that really that couldn't have been more than 10 or 12 water blocks, but the way they propagate and ended up making a column of water blocks, oh, I don't know, 30 blocks tall, and then the running water came all the way down here. So anyway, I'm going to say that the capsule station is an excellent anti-griefing tool. There better not be any mobs here being distracting. Well, look at that. Like I say, that would have taken an awful long time to go up there and try and find the water blocks. Replace them all with dirt or something. Yay, I got my forest back without the ugly eyesore.